And it looks like we are here, finally, at what is almost, not quite, but almost the end of the class of insightful learning. Coil, which was based on stretch recoil of paralysis demon, which was my last Tuesday name. And we got a lot to fit in this five minutes. So um, this lesson for letter Z only, which is almost the end of the series, because we got firecracker specials, two more of those as well, to fill up for the, the course lecture, um, the semester at least. Um, lesson letter Z only is about trust your intentions. We're coming full circle with everything else, including a lesson I learned from my very first traumatic uh, almost unnecessary relationship encounter. So a lesson we learned with that was, I'll say this right away, which which is doing the same thing doesn't make you the same as other people. Now, coming forth with this one. There's a reason why it gets on my nerves when people say we tr we have your best interest at heart. There's a reason why, I teased that since the last episode, Larry, Larry why? And I was about to say that materialism can be good compared to minimalism because you can compare and contrast different objects with each other and even different things and people and ideas. And they can be good in quantities. That's why quantity can be better than quality in some ways. Not always, but different in terms of that. But anyway, that was, that was just something I watched in case you're wondering. But you cannot have the best interest at heart for anybody. It's literally impossible. Because you have to trust your own intentions for your own life. It doesn't matter who you are. You have to trust your own intentions. You don't triumph other people's intentions with your own in a competition or a fierce fight. You're not supposed to do that. That's not how it works. You have to trust your own life's intentions. And that's for everyone's self-governance, self-responsibility, self-accountability. That's how that works. If you have a way to have best wishes for anyone, they can't be guaranteed, especially if, it, if you think you can overwrite their own intentions. That is not how it works. So that's why it used to piss me off why I hear stuff like that. That's a bit of a little bit of projection, but there you go. And so here we come for lesson letter Z. Why does it matter to trust your intentions? Well, the, the, the trauma that I learned, the other lesson I mentioned earlier about, was the doing the same thing doesn't make you the same as other people. I learned that from a almost relationship attempt because it was going to be, uh, it was driving me crazy going in circles. There are things about her, the person's life that were successful, not relevant. But there are things about her that should have been already competent enough for me. Not, not trying to be mean about that. But long story short, she broke my heart. And I realized that even though I should not have to worry about the fact that she's an athlete or an architect, all that other stuff. That was a little, a little personal about that already. Maybe even a little doxing exploitative, but who knows. But this person would do things in her life that were successful and I was afraid that if I repeated her actions, I would end up being just like her. Because even as successful as she was, she if, she, if I did the same things as her to be successful and ended up with her behaviors and mentality, I would feel bad about that. And that didn't have to be, it didn't have to be like that, but there you go. That's why I came up with a lesson, doing the same thing as other people does not make you the same as them. That's what that means. That's why I trust those intentions with that first trauma lesson learned. Was the lesson I learned even before Quill became a thing this last few weeks. For class insightful learning. That's why I learned insightfully. This is one of the best ways to come full circle with insight and learning about insight. Because I already told you in lesson letter O that everyone's insightful. And I told you even later on, or even actually before that, I told you about how there are, I, there, actually I told you later on, later on, it was probably like W and X or like R and S. I told you about these weird ideas I had for cartoons and anime being relevant to abstract philosophy. I even made that in recent videos about that. Where it was about weird ideas about that neon sign in the middle of the dark feeling like it has energy or spirituality behind it, or wanting to read uh, Dr. Broner's uh, bottle at night and feeling energetic and uh, philosophical deep about that. And it's like, why does that give me energy? Why does that make me feel like I'm not alone? It shouldn't have to be like a vibration of loneliness, by the way. It shouldn't have to be. It's because those are abstract and deep in their own way, abstract, fossil or not. But insight is something that everyone possesses. Everyone has the ability to see things in different ways, even in similar ways than usual. You know how to see something in a similar way? One, one, one last lesson. You know how to see... Bonus lesson. You know how to see something the same way as other people and still be better than them? Here's one more proof of that. You could say the same thing over and over again or say something that everyone else has said before and still have a different intention than them. You know how you do that? Let's say you like apples and, and that has been said by many people millions of times. If you say you love apples because you think they're tasty, it doesn't have to be the same intention as everyone else's opinion that apples are good because they're their main character fruit. Okay? That could be a different thing. Whereas someone could have a different opinion of that and still technically be uh, use, judging the facts of how they use that opinion. Because even their opinion is different from all those other ones, they can still be illegitimate in other ways. It doesn't have to be only wrong, only right. Duality, right, from the last lesson, Larry Y? 
Take care, guys. This has been Class of the Cypher Learning Lesson Letter Z. Firecracker Part 1 and 2 will come after Letter Z soon. So I'll update to the Bywire as well. Take care, guys. This is a Class of the Cypher Learning. Take care. Bye.